in the airway and breathing course recovers some very important and fundamental material in the fundamentals unit which is divided of course into oxygenation ventilation and this lesson the airway anatomy lesson airway anatomy is a very important concept something that you need to be very familiar with because uh, it is key to your success in prompt and efficient airway management. The key landmarks we're looking for, of course, would be the tongue and then the vollecula, that space at the base of the tongue, where there is a ligament <clears throat> that when you press on that ligament, you can manipulate the epiglottis. The epiglottis then will move up and out of the way where you can actually see the vocal cords. And then we spend a fair amount of time talking about the arytenoid cartilages, also called the posterior cartilages, and the notch between the two arytenoids right down here at the bottom, an arytenoid here, an arytenoid here, and then right at the bottom uh, for the interarytenoid notch. We also need to talk about grades of view. And the cormac lehane grades, grade 1, 2, 3, and 4, are used to describe what you saw when you're documenting your airway management event, as well as it drives you know, your techniques and, and what options you have available to you. A grade 1 is defined as a clear view of all the laryngeal structures, including the glottic opening, the space between the cords. A grade two, you can see part of the glottic opening, but not a full view. Grade three, you can see the epiglottis, of course, but no other laryngeal structures. And grade four, you can't even identify the epiglottis. Now, down here in the bottom picture, <clears throat> another set of pictures, again, grade one, full glottic opening, and in this case, they kind of divide grade 2 into 2A and 2B. We don't use that designation so much. If you can see part of the glottic opening, that's a grade 2. If you can see all of it, that's a grade 1. If all you can identify is just the epiglottis and you don't see any of the glottic opening, you know where the glottic opening is. It is behind that and up, so to speak, but you can't actually see it, and so this will drive your uh, technique and that's where we like to use bougies. Talk a lot more about that later. And then grade four, pretty much pink mush. You're looking in there and that's all you can see. You can't even identify the epiglottis or any of the main structures. So grades of view and airway anatomy fits together and this is kind of the, uh, the key parts of that airway anatomy lesson.